Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little quick short little video as an introduction to the next live stream that's coming up. As you know, I'm sort of on a little modified Bill Hicks breaks where I'm not doing any long video edits where I'm shooting with a camcorder and overlaying a lot of stuff in the video. But what I've decided to do during this uh, sort of Bill Hicks break is do a lot of live streaming because I am still playing around with the live stream and learning a lot. And I, I really got a nice little groove going in it. So I want to continue that work. Uh, so basically what um, we decided to do is we're going to do a little session in the kitchen in a couple of days or basically Saturday, right? And what we're going to do, we're going to make some uh, honey chocolate chip cookies. And during the previous live stream, we're talking a little bit with some of the people that were watching that live stream on Twitch. And uh, I mentioned that the live stream was coming up on Saturday in a few days. We're going to do, you know, make some cookies and people we're looking forward to it. And what I mentioned was I was possibly going to put out a little short video to give you, you know, the introduction to it and let you know what we're going to use as the ingredients, just in case you want to make the cookies with us on Saturday. Right. So I actually ended up, um, you know, writing down what we needed because I usually, these cookies, I've been making them sort of by feel because I've spent a fair bit of time in the kitchen. I've done some fair bit of pastry uh, baking and some cooking and stuff like that. So I know sort of what the texture is, what the texture I was looking for. But basically what I did is write down what we needed. I write, wrote down the recipe for this, right? And uh, let me go through this um, just in case you want to have the ingredients available with you if you feel like making the cookies with us, okay? So basically this is the recipe for making the honey chocolate chip cookies that we're going to make. And the cookies look like this, by the way. They're not... Um, they're not cookie shaped or round shaped. What I end up doing is making them in a tray like this, and I'll show it to you. But basically, the cookies are going to look like this. Okay, they're like square cookies. And this is a batch <laughs> that, that I made uh, last week, and we already went through it. So I just took one and saved it in the freezer so I could show you what it's going to look like, right? So it's basically going to look like this. It's going to be crispy on the outside. And nice and chewy on the inside, hopefully, anyway, if we get it right, right? Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to, we're not going to use a cookie tray. We're going to use dishes like this, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to make it a certain thickness depending on how much material we have. Okay? And I've got two of the trays here because the odds are um, when we make the cookies, we're going to make two of these things, okay? One of them is going to be just straight up honey chocolate chip cookies and the other one's going to be honey chocolate chip with cranberries okay um, because i i do like both of them the cranberries i think complement the chocolate really well okay so just going off on that little tangent let me tell you what we're gonna what the recipe for these honey chocolate chip cookies is okay and then there's a couple of modification of added in there as well if you like because i've played around with those as well okay uh, so we're going to use two and a half cups of whole wheat flour we're going to use anywhere between 1 to 1.5 cups of sugar. And that's just for one of the recipes, right? So we're going to double that because we're going to make two batches, one with the cranberries, right? But that one's going to modify a little bit, okay? So the basic recipe for the honey chocolate chip cookies, the one recipe is 2.5 cups of whole wheat flour, 1 to 1.5 cups of cane sugar, okay? I usually, I'm using basically organic material here, but organic cane sugar, it tends to be, uh, cane sugar tends to be sweeter just uh, than white sugar, processed sugar. So you end up using a little bit less in general when you use cane sugar, or I do anyway, okay? Uh, we're going to use up uh, a third of a teaspoon of baking soda, okay? We're going to use, for each batch, for each uh, cookie tray, we're going to use one one to two eggs, right? But you don't necessarily need to have eggs in there because I know some people are, is it paleo or whatever it is when you don't eat anything coming from animals, right? So some people can't eat cookies with eggs in them. So eggs are optional to a degree. So basically in this recipe, I'm putting zero to two eggs for one batch, right? I end up usually using one egg. We're going to use three large tablespoonfuls of honey. And if you recall, 
put out a little video of jarring some honeys and this is the second batch of or the third batch of honeys we've gotten from the same local beekeeper and we bought a whole bunch of these so that's that's the honey there uh we go through a lot of honey so basically i wrote down here three large teaspoons of honey and i actually measured this out and it came out to 150 milliliters of honey which comes out to about two-thirds of a cup of honey okay if you use, you're using cups but you'll see when we make the cookies how much how much honey we're using we're going to use approximately one cup of coconut oil okay and the coconut oil we're going to put in a little bowl and we're going to melt it gently really on low heat on on the stove top right and we're going to use one cup of bittersweet chocolate chip cookie uh, chocolate chips right so one cup of chocolate chips and i use dark uh, again organic bittersweet i think uh, we'll look it up when we do make the cookies look on the make me sure uh, it's the exact same type but basically one cup of chocolate chips and that recipe is for one batch right so we're going to make two batches and then the second batch what we're going to do is we're going to use maybe three quarters of a cup of the chocolate chips and three quarters of a cup of uh, sweetened lightly sweetened um, cranberries dried cranberries I might kick it up to one cup of chocolate chips and one cup of cranberries because I really like it when it's like got a lot of cranberries a lot of chocolate chips and um, as far as one option I do use when I'm making these cookies sometimes I don't use two and a half cups of whole wheat flour sometimes I mod modify uh, the recipe by adding uh, coconut flour so you have to you know do it to your taste okay and as I said we're basically going to use these trays and um, we'll go through the process of how to do this I actually wrote this down usually I just go into my automatic mode and do things but I wrote it down so we do things in the proper steps okay so if you feel like um, you know baking with us on uh, Saturday okay uh, I think it's at 11 a.m. I'll add the link in the description of this video on the Twitch channel and stuff like this. You can check out the info, the exact time that we're going to start. And I think I set the time for a couple hours. I don't know if it's going to take us a couple hours. Making cookies is pretty rapid, very fast. Okay. And uh, obviously, you need your general materials you use to make cookies to do baking to do cooking and little spatula and whatnot okay but we'll take care of all that on saturday and um, end up making our cookies and i hopefully they turn out uh, well and um, we can munch on those things for about a week or so usually one tray like this one tray lasts us for two or three days because we do like munching on it but a couple of trays might last us a whole week right and you don't do this very often you can't have cookies going all the time it's uh, it's sort of um, you know not good to eat cookies every day right uh, that's it for now I guess I'll see you guys in live stream uh, hope you can make it bye for now